Hi, Lou Fernandez here for Mac Tips. Today we're going to be exploring the brand new musical innovation from Apple computers built right into iTunes called Ping. Now, since Ping was announced, there has not been a lot of fanfare or hype about Ping. So, let's find out what it's about. So the first thing you need to know is that Ping is not a separate application or a plugin that you need to add to your computer. It's something that's built into iTunes, which is already the number one music buying, music organization, and CD burning software in the world. You already are familiar with this product. Apple just made it better. So download iTunes, which I'm sure you're familiar with doing from all the times that Apple has made a minute update, uh, giving you a little bit more functionality while taking away something that you liked about iTunes in the past. So download it, install it. And now once you install this new version of iTunes, log in and do all kinds of stuff and accept some terms and whatever, just do all that stuff. It's good for you. So once you've done all that, you're ready to ping. Now, let's find out what it's all about. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is launch iTunes to get to Ping. Now, it's going to turn on and go to the iTunes store, and it's going to log us in. And right away, you'll see right up here, it says Ping, new. Can't click on that, but if you go over here to the store, you'll see right on the nestled in the left-hand side, right in the store section underneath iTunes store and above purchased is Ping. So click on Ping and it'll take you right to your Ping welcome page, which shows your recent activity. But first, what we're going to do is go look at the profiles. Now you can see I've made myself a delightful profile, which says I like alternative electronic and rock. It shows where I live and how many followers I have. First, it's going to look through all your music and show you the things that you like. Now it says that I like young folks. I do like that song. Dr. Dre, sure, why not? Matt Costa, sure, that's a nice song. Mates of State, oh, this is great. I'm going to say, sure, why not? I like that. What happens? Oh, it's going to give me the opportunity to buy some of those songs. Isn't that nice? No thank you, I'll say. And I'll go and look and see the people that I'm following. Now I've chosen to follow some bands. And Devo was one of the bands. Now, let's see what Devo has to do. When you join a band, you start following a band, it's going to show you all the things that they want you to see. You learn all about the artist, there's recent activity, and they shamelessly plug their own songs, the songs they've worked on. And that's uh, great. So let's listen to this song. Oh, that... Okay, I can say without a doubt that I don't like that song, and I think $1.29 for that song is, bad, is a bad deal. So, let's move on. But you have the choice, you have a chance to buy all of the Devo songs and albums and all that stuff. Isn't that great? You can also look for other things. But now we're back in the iTunes store, and we didn't want to be there. We wanted to be back in Ping. So let's go back to Ping, and let's go back to my profile and see what's going on. So, like I said, it shows you recent activities and shows bands that I liked. I chose to like Phoenix. And I also liked this song by Arcade Fire. Now my friends can see that I like those songs, and they can uh, buy them if they think that they like them. But chances are, they're just going to ask me for those songs. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's see. I'm going to go to Recent Activity. Now, my friend Finn liked a song called Don't Fuck Around from the Billy Mountain by Frank Zappa. Now I can go and look at that and listen to it. Oh, oh, sure, that's a classic Frank Zappa song. So I'm going to go to my chat app and find Finn. And, uh, hey, I saw you liked that Frank Zappa tune on Ping. You send it to me for free so I don't have to buy it. Cool, we'll be listening to Zappa all weekend now. Send all you have for free to me now. Okay, thanks, bye. So just like that, I've found a new song that I like, and I'm having a friend send it to me for free. Now, what else does it do? Uh, mm, not, not much. I can look for people. Yeah, well, these are the same people that joined on the first day, and, and pretty much no one else has. So that's pretty much it. It doesn't take an idiot or a genius, or a, a person who's barely alive to know that ping is going to be huge. Now that we've discussed that, I feel it's safe to say, all right, you're halfway to knowing everything you need to know about ping and how to do the things that it does. My name's Lou Fernandez. This has been Mac Tips. Ping Review. We'll see you soon.